So in this video, I'll be talking about straightness and flatness on engineering drawings. These are both types of form control, which basically means that they don't control the size of a feature, they only control the shape. I'll start by explaining flatness because I think it's actually easier to conceptualize. So although you may have an idea of what would be considered flat in day-to-day -day life, we need to assign it a more rigorous definition. A flatness tolerance specifies a tolerance zone defined by two parallel planes within which the surface or derived median plane of a feature must lie. So I'll explain what that means with an example. Imagine I design a part with a 3mm flatness tolerance on the top face, but the CNC messes up and I end up with this. Now I'm pretty sure this part fails my flatness condition, but to check I'll separate the face from the part itself and check it with my 3mm flatness gauge. The flatness gauge is two perfectly parallel planes separated by 3mm, and to check the part I simply try and drop the face through the gauge. As I suspected, the face does not pass through the gauge, but luckily the machine shop did a second run. I once again separate the surface from the part, and when I try and drop it through the gauge, it passes no problem. So based on the 3mm flatness tolerance, this part passes, and the first part fails. Straightness is like a 1D version of flatness, and is defined as the condition where an element of a surface or derived median line falls within tolerance zone. Straightness is slightly different from flatness, and this is because unlike flatness, which can be called out on any view and mean the same thing, straightness will actually change depending on which view it's called out on. So going back to our first part, I've now called out a 3mm flatness on both views. To check it, I once again separate the surface from the part, and now I'll use my 3mm straightness gauge. My straightness gauge is two perfectly parallel lines with zero width separated by 3mm. For the first view, I align the face and the gauge so that they match the drawing, and I still can't pass the part through the gauge, so this part fails the straightness tolerance on this view. However, to check the second view, I turn the face 90 degrees, and now I can pass it through no problem. Hopefully you can use this information to more effectively and accurately tolerance drawings with the intended use in mind. Cheers.